It was a very exciting prospect for us. We were living in Los Angeles at the time, and we'd been making wine in our garage. Because why not? You've got a garage, and you're interested in wine. Now we are right on the Silverado Trail. We moved here four years ago. It's still a small family-run winery, but it's still hands-on. And uh, we all get to do a variety of jobs, which we love to do. And it's been fun. They kept tugging me back to Napa. The wine was calling me, and I've been back full-time now in the wine business for about 10 years. Loving it. I love it. I'd say our winemaking style is to really let the fruit be the main showcase in the wine. I mean, after all, we are in Napa Valley, where we grow some of the finest grapes in the world for making wine. So I really want the varietal characteristics and the fruit flavors to come through. Um, so I think as you taste our wine, you'll notice that um, fruit is the star and um, maybe the wood is more of a nuance than a major characteristic, which I think for me and my palate, and that's the only way I know how to make wine is to please myself, uh, that, that is a more, again, to my liking, a more elegant drink. And also I love to eat, so without those harsh wood tannins in the wine, it makes a much more food friendly um, companion to any meal. This is our uh, 2005 Cabernet Sauvignon, Napa Valley. What can I tell you about this wine? Um, has a few different vineyard sources here. Our own estate vineyard, which is up in the hills east of St. Helena. Uh, about 50% of the cab that's in here comes from there. We've got some Oakville fruit, some Stag's Leap fruit, all Cabernet Sauvignon, to make up about 88% Cabernet Sauvignon, and then the remainder is a little Merlot and a little Cabernet Franc. Mm, I really like it. It's just so Stop good. Stop there. Stop there. That's all I need to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I accept really like it. That's fine. Here we are in our estate Pinot Noir vineyard surrounding the winery and we're tasting a little of our estate Pinot Noir, Millican Creek vineyard. And let's see, you know, they're turning color here and we're getting into mid-August, so I'm guessing we're going to, well, pick these. You know, I don't really have a good answer. This has been a weird weather year. Well, our production here at Judd's Hill is less than 3,000 cases a year total. Um, so really, we'll just get a few hundred cases of this, a few hundred cases of our uh, Petite Syrah, maybe about a thousand or so cases of Cabernet Sauvignon. And then a couple other wines that we pour just here at the tasting room, like Sauvignon Blanc, Rosé. Um, so pretty small. Not a lot gets out there. Aloha from Judd's Hill. We look forward to seeing you here soon. <laughs>